Oh, what the heck is this? What, dude? Nice. It's like a little, little, little campground. Spin the bottle going on over here. Oh, dude. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess maybe not so nice. They were having a having a game of spin the bottle until this guy came around and started trying to make out with people. Do tanks have lips? That's the real question. But also we got a couple little targets over here, dude. Looks like there's something more along the way here, too. Let's see what the heck's going on over here. Bergram Vargan! Oh man, I've been meaning to get back on over to this spot actually to check it out, see if anything's happened. It's on my list of uh, places to check, basically, with each, with each update. But this is new, this little pathway here. This is definitely new. What the heck's going on? Okay. Bags. Red light, very, very neat. Sets a mood in here, a sledgehammer type mood, definitely. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little building here too. Weird. Very weird. Is this where like DJs come to have like battles? They each stand up and take a turn and they're like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. It's very weird indeed. Uh, let's just close this door. I don't feel like I have the DJing capability to stand in that room. Vargan does look a little bit different here though, maybe in the map. So we're getting on down here to see if something's gone on. Yo, what's up? What a boyo. More. Oh, with the shot. There we go. Military machines, man. They run off into the woods and it's like you can't even see them. Where's this last guy? Well, let's see. Machines, I mean, like, that's kind of a new thing. Oh, I do, no way, it's opened! Okay. Kind of weird, basket bike with some apples in it, but. Dude, no way, some shit happened at Vargan, dude. I guess machines got in here and mucked up maybe some soldiers or something. I always thought this was going to be like a military type location. Dude, no way. Dude, no way. It's an apple murder scene, man. Gosh dang, apple murders. Dude, no way. I was totally wondering if we were going to see more of those expand as we went into, like, more revamps and stuff, and yes, the Apple murders live on! Though maybe, actually, I probably shouldn't be cheering that, like, murders are going on in this game, but, I mean, uh, you know, apples. Is there anything maybe going on inside of here, possibly? Doesn't look like it. So my dudes, let's kind of piece things together to figure out what actually happened here because I think I've kind of tied together a, at least a couple of the dots here and might potentially have an answer as to this apple murder scene and it might potentially answer all of the apple murders entirely. So my kind of theory for this all starts off in the resistance newsletters that we got with the update. And it's just this one little advert in Our Dirty Little Secrets, the sixth issue of the Resistance newsletter here, saying, Buying apples. 
quote unquote, the growing tree wants to inform everyone that they are interested in buying apples and have both food and ammunition to trade. Any apples you want to trade can be left at the last house by the road leading north from Ostervik. Just don't ask me who this growing tree person is, they just leave letters to me on the steps leading to the post office, this is the person writing the paper here. But we need ammunition and food, so if anyone has apples to spare, why not make the trade? Because you're gonna get fucking apple murdered, that's why! So first up, as we're heading up the road up north from Ostervik here, uh, we come across our first little curious set piece, which are a couple of soldier dudes that are kind of unloading from a kind of secure bunker here. This potentially could be parts of the growing tree, which might be an organization of people at least wearing military fatigues that are maybe stealing or taking from these uh, secure bunkers in order to provide resources that they can then, uh, I guess, vendor off for apples. As we head along the path here, I guess this is the proper way off to that uh, spin the bottle set piece that I found at the beginning of this video. Uh, but as we head along the way here, uh, we come across the house that's talked in that newspaper clipping. We got more machines off at Bergrim Vargen too, so maybe that's like a set spawn location. Kinda cool. Anyway, getting up to the top of the hill here, uh, we come across the house that is mentioned in the newspaper clipping, the house that's furthest to the north uh, outside of Ostervik here, uh, which is the house that you would come to to then, I guess, Make the trade in here? That would be so sketchy, man. And while you're making that absolutely suspect deal on the inside there for the apples and stuff, there'd be like two dudes just sitting in the back here, just staring through this, through this tire. And then the scenario down here at Vargan is just like really perplexing. So. I, I like I got the gist of it figured out here. So we had four dudes that were ceremonial cerem, ceremonially killed. That's a hard word. Ceremonially killed by the apple murder dude. And then one of them was like just pretending to be dead. He was like psych gotcha. And then he came on over here, but then he really died dead. So I guess he broke the ceremonial murder, but it, it, it just doesn't make sense, dude. It doesn't make sense, man. So, my dudes, I really don't know what to make of this. Do you think that the growing tree is some sort of a new evil organization here in the game doing these apple murders? Or do you think that it's just one person doing the apple murders and the growing tree was like maybe a, a, a front to get apples? I'm gonna be looking around for anything else potentially related to Apple murders in this update, but uh, if really, honestly, I think that the Apple murders are quite high up on my list of favorite Generation Zero things that are just kind of weird and out there. But yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there. Let me know any theories you have on this in the comments down below. Uh, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace out, my dudes.